It is clear at this point that he made it through the original police perimeter. Longwood Garden Security notifying Pennsylvania State Police that he was spotted on a trail camera on the property. It's a camera typically used to photograph wildlife, now pointing to the police in the direction of a killer. With this new clue overnight, police shift their search to the south. State troopers blocking neighborhoods near Longwood Gardens after this trail camera snapped a clear photo. He's got a backpack on, uh, on his back. Of Danello Cavalcante, who broke out of jail and now has snuck through the police perimeter, sporting a shoulder bag and a hoodie. Obviously, I wish we would have been able to capture him without him getting through that perimeter, but, uh, but it is also not shocking. It's dark. It's a large area. The search also evolving, now focused south of busy Baltimore Pike. It's possible he crossed the highway. Troopers are parked in nearly every other driveway along Hillendale Road. Some school districts are closed, all in effort to contain and keep Cavalcante tired. We pressure him uh, to not allow him the luxury of rest, and then we're asking the public to help us by making sure things are secure so that we can minimize his opportunities to obtain those things that he doesn't otherwise have. But this is the sixth day of the search. Cavalcante was convicted of killing his girlfriend and also wanted on murder charges in his native Brazil. He's now foraging through an area with fewer trees, possibly easier to spot. We will continue with this search. We will continue a hard search and we'll capture him. We've had searches that have gone uh, well in excess of a month. Uh, we've kept the pressure on. He's a bad guy, he needs to be in custody, and we're determined to capture him. And here is a live look from Sky Force 10 over that now expanded search area, which authorities told me uh, after that news conference could be evolving. So it is not a set perimeter. It just depends on the new information they're getting. Meantime, those school districts facing closure include Kennett as well as Unionville, Chad's Ford. Police notified the superintendents of those schools early this morning about the possible threat. And of course, there is a $10,000 reward for any information leading to a re-arrest of this inmate. For now, we're live here in Westchester. Randy Gyllenhaal, NBC10 News. Randy, thanks. Stay with NBC10 on air and online as we track breaking developments in the search for escaped prisoner Danello Cavalcante.